y'all, welcome to Donna's Farmhouse Kitchen. Well, today I am making you something that is absolutely delicious. And the way I know that is because I just made this and I fell in love with it. It's so good. It is a pumpkin spice pull apart bread. And it's very easy to make. And I'm gonna make two of them, but I'm gonna give you the ingredients for one recipe. So I am gonna start out with some granulated sugar. It calls for one third cup of granulated sugar. Of course, I have doubled that. And then you're gonna put in some pumpkin pie spice. It calls for one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So of course, I'm doubling that. And this is a one and a half teaspoon measuring spoon. So that's about right. You wanna go ahead and stir that together. So what I'm gonna do is actually put some of this down on the cutting board. And the reason being is it will make the biscuits not stick to the cutting board. And they will also have a little flavor on the bottom side. Especially when you put it together and you have those two ends, you'll have some flavor on the two ends particularly, because there'll be plenty of flavor in the middle. So, you're really gonna love this recipe. It's so good. Okay. So I'm gonna sprinkle some out. Because you're not gonna really need all of this for the recipe. Okay, then I'm gonna set that aside and go ahead and get on my gloves. You don't have to wear gloves, but I do, especially when I know I'm going to be making food for other people. So kind of just spread it out. You're not really, like I said, using a whole lot. But. So now we're using the Honey Butter Grand's Flaky Biscuits. Then we're gonna peel them apart in the middle. Take them in the middle. Now I used, the other day I used the regular plain Grand's biscuits and they did wonderful. So it really depends on which one you wanna use. Try to keep these as round as possible. We're actually gonna stack them on top of each other when we're finished. But uh, the you want the bottom and the top side down. So after you split it, you just lay it down. You want the inside up, basically. So that's what we're aiming for here. Very easy recipe to do. This is awesome for Thanksgiving morning. because you know, we're always so busy on Thanksgiving morning. Now the other day I did one and then I did a second one in 10 minutes. Then that's getting everything out of the refrigerator and everything because I wasn't planning on doing a second one, but I did. That one is in our freezer waiting on us tomorrow morning. And what I'm gonna do is slowly warm it up and then I'm gonna put the icing on it. Now these biscuits seem to be a little bit more difficult to pull apart in the middle than the regular Grand's biscuit were, but they're fine. They're just fine. But yeah, you can either make it that morning or you can make it beforehand and just slowly warm it up. Like put it on 170 in some foil and wrap it nice and tight and just let it slowly warm up for an hour or so. And then when it comes out, let it sit for, I'd say five minutes maybe, and then have the icing ready to just drizzle on. Because I have leftover icing for the one I made the other day. It's sitting in the refrigerator in a Ziploc. It's ready for me to just go ahead and pour on. So that's, and that's what I'm gonna do. 
Okay, so all of them are done. So this is only one can. So this is only the first one. So I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I've already used my pan baking spray and sprayed each of my pans. So both of them are ready. Both of my loaf pans are ready. This is the Libby's pumpkin pie mix. So it's all ready to throw into a pie crust if you wanna make a pumpkin pie. But um, you can also use it for this and it's really, really good. One I used for my last batch was from Aldi and it was really good too. So either one that you can find um, is gonna be really good. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl. You need about three fourths of a cup. I did mix it up. I took my spoon and mixed it in the can because um, you can have a little bit of water on top. And so you wanna mix that in. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to spoon about a teaspoon on each one. and then just spread it out. As you've seen in the pictures at the beginning of the video, they come out really pretty. And you can use this for Thanksgiving morning, um, for breakfast, because like I said, we're all so busy making Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, it's kind of nice to have that little something that you can just put on the table, say here, y'all, pick at it or whatever uh, until uh, we have our dinner. Cause we kind of eat, we try to eat kind of early uh, on Thanksgiving if we can. Works real well if you put it on the back of the spoon. This would also be good for brunch. If you wanna think, if you're doing like uh, a late dinner, just do a, uh, Thanksgiving brunch and you can add this to whatever else you're making. You're gonna love these flavors when they come together. So now I have some melted butter and we're gonna put a little bit on each one, just right over the top. Now I'm gonna take the spoon and I'm gonna kinda move the butter around just a little bit, not much, just a little bit, because we're getting ready to sprinkle it with that mixture of sugar and pumpkin spice. So now it's time to put the mixture on. So just take a little spoon and just start sprinkling. You can basically be as generous as you want. Okay, so we'll save the rest for the next one. And now we're gonna start stacking them. What we're gonna do is have four per stack. So we just stack them on top of each other. Like I said, that pumpkin spice and sugar makes it so easy to move these biscuit around. So much easier. And I'm missing one. I was like, I'm missing a biscuit. There was still one in the can. So let me do that one real quick. Gypped a biscuit for a minute there. I was trying to figure out how that could possibly happen because it was a full can. Okay, so this is done. Now we're going to place our pull apart bread in the pan. Now, what you want to do is you want to have on each end, you want it to be a bottom with nothing on it. Okay, and just start lining them up. And then the last one you'll turn around. Look 
kind of squeeze it together. And then I'm gonna turn the pan around because it's gonna be easier because I already have one nasty hand. <laughs> and so we can make sure we get the bottom in the right position. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's gonna be the best one to get right there. This is nice and tight and nice and messy. So now I'm gonna make the second one and get them in the oven and bake them for about 40 to 45 minutes or until they're golden brown. Okay, y'all, these beauties are ready to go in the oven. They look so scrumptious and smell so good already and they haven't even baked yet. So uh, let's get them in the oven. Like I said, 40 to 45 minutes or until golden brown. Look what just came out of the oven. Don't they look scrumptious? We are going to make a little icing to go on top. Let's make the icing while they're still cooling off. Because you don't want them to cool off completely. You really want to serve these warm. Um, but um, like I said, you can always warm them up in the morning. Uh, you can wait and put icing on later, or you can go ahead and put the icing on and then warm them up with the icing on it. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. So I'm gonna set these off to the side. I have my cup with my piping bag all ready to go. So of course I'm doubling my icing because I've doubled my pull apart bread. So I have, it calls for two cups of powdered sugar. Of course I have four. And then you wanna add in one fourth cup of milk. Now I'm using my almond milk. That's what I used the other day, it turned out great. And I'm using a half a cup because I'm doubling it. I'm gonna put in a pinch of the pumpkin pie spice. Just a little pinch. I tell you, I love this particular set of spoons and I found this, I don't know if I probably mentioned it, but I found it at like a consignment store. And I love these because they have all of these odd measurements that I've never seen in a set of spoons before. So I really love this set. I mean, it really, has a bunch, so it's really cool, really cool set. And then we're gonna put in two teaspoons of my Olive Nation vanilla, it calls for one. So now we're gonna get the whisking. And if it's too thin to your liking, you can always add more powdered sugar. Try to get as many of the lumps out as you can. Okay, I'm gonna set that off to the side, get my gloves on, and then I'm gonna put each of the breads in here and uh, drizzle them with the icing and then let them cool down because they are going elsewhere. So we already have ours in the freezer. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cool them down in this pan so they can be transported to wherever they're going. So how you wanna do this is you wanna get you a nice thin spatula or if you wanna do a knife, I don't like using knives too much in my pans and go around the pan. And what I do is I go into one end, let me kind of get this a little bit more stable. And um, I go underneath because this particular spatula will do that. And then pick it up all at once and lay it down. And it looks beautiful. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the next one. Like I said, just go around. And these took about 40 minutes in my oven. Kind of lift it up a little bit to get that spatula underneath. And down. They smell marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. <laughs> Now we're just gonna drizzle it as much as you want to drizzle on it. You don't have to really put a whole lot and I may not use the whole thing.
Not by a long shot. And I'm just gonna put the rest of it in a Ziploc like that, <laughs> I think. <laughs> this one wants a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put the rest of it in a Ziploc. That way I have it for another batch. Don't these look wonderful? And you really don't need a whole lot of icing on it because you have so many wonderful flavors on the inside. You just need a little bit of icing. And with it nice and warm, it's wonderful. You definitely want it warm. It makes a difference. So I hope y'all will try this recipe, enjoy it, make it for your friends and make it for your family. And um, have it for Thanksgiving. You could have this for Christmas morning if you wanted to. Thank y'all again for sharing my videos. I see you doing it and I, it's so appreciated. And thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.